Hi ladies and gentlemen, Sean Davies of Colorado Rainsman. I'm uh, here two days uh, before Thanksgiving on a Tuesday here in uh, beautiful Colorado today. It's been a great day. We've been doing a lot of lessons and working a lot of horses today. I'm here with Miss Isabella and coming up on Thanksgiving I want to offer my thanks and what I'm thankful for is my time and ability to work with these horses. I haven't kind of neglected her for quite a while because I was so busy with other horses but uh, I'm going to try to see if I can't put a fifth ride on her. We uh, just did a little bit of playing around. I'm going to do a little work with her and uh, then see if I can't get back up on her. I know the wind's blowing a little bit so you be a little hard to hear me sometime but we're just going to do a few warm up exercises and I'm going to see if I can't get up on her without too much of a problem. wind kicked up, she started getting a little worried. I'm just going to ask her to move on off to my right here. Look in a circle. Now a lot of you may not know Isabella's story, but right after the flood here at the Mustang River Ranch, I was uh, bringing sand back in for my pen, and I saw her on a on a feed from a uh, auction lot up in or a kill lot up in Washington State, and I just. Something told me I couldn't let that uh, little girl go, so I picked her up, had her in quarantine for a month, and then shipped her down here, and she is just a sweetheart. She had been pretty well scared to death. They tried riding her one time up there and scared her to death. They never did any groundwork or anything like that, and then they put her out in the pasture for a couple years. So she's been here, we've done quite a bit with her, off and on, just getting her back to work again. As you see, she's pretty soft. She used to run around, get all worried, nothing saying that she won't be a problem when I go to get on her, because not a real big fan of mounting. All right, well the nice thing is I was able to put the saddle on her pretty easily today. I haven't had one on in quite a while. So we're just working her, getting a little warm up, getting her brain here. Now this right side has always been an issue for her, not because she's bad on this right side, it's because her left brain feels those strings at the stirrup toucher and she gets worried. So I've been working on getting her nice and confident. See, she's not confident with me on this side. She wants to look at what's going on on that other side and get all worried, work herself up. If I need to, I'll bump her, in a bumper, bump her, and say, hey, pay attention to me. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Now I'm going to disengage her, back her up. Send her this way. This is all in preparation for me getting on and working her in some circles. Now our last ride a while ago, it's on YouTube. She had a good ride. She's we walked and trotted in here. I still haven't cantered her with her, but we're gonna do that maybe. We'll see where we go. Like I said, it's been months since I've been on this horse. Okay, good girl. Now I'm gonna just disengage her. I'm going to check my cinch. Good girl. Run her through a few more exercises and I might put a balsa on her and go ahead and climb up and see what happens. Good girl. Pass this rear end to move around. Good girl. 
If I don't have this, I don't get on a horse. Good girl. Walk off. You better darn sure have a real soft feel of that head and that rear end moving around before you get up on a horse that might run away with you. Real pretty. Now I'm going to bring her around here. Let's see if she'll up. She's so dang tall. Oh, look at that spin. Very good, young lady. Very good. Very good. Good girl. Who's mama? over here to the fence. Okay, we're going to just do a couple leg yields here. So she likes to get that head over the rail. It's been a long time. up there and see how she's doing. So give me just a second, I'm going to get a bolsal on her and we'll we'll see where we're at from there. Alright, so we're going to see if Miss Isabella has settled down with the mounting process any. Her one time that she was ridden previously, they just scared her so bad. They, they didn't do anything and from what I hear, it was a mess. She bucked. And this horse is not a bucker. She's not that kind of horse. Now, once I'm up, she's actually pretty good. So, I'm just going to ask her, I'm going to start off real gentle and just ask her to stand still. And see, right away she wants to move. So, if I have to, I bend her, but I've got to get my foot up in the stirrup. So, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to bend her a little bit and ask her to stand still. Get my foot in that stirrup. Good girl. And just let her stand there. Now this, if this takes me 10 minutes, it takes me 10 minutes and I don't give a rat's butt. But she's got to learn to stand still for me to get my foot in the stirrup. And she's such a daggum tall drink of water. Good girl. girl look at you and now she's settled in <laughs> but I've got to get that better and better and better and right now she's given me a really good look I like that that has been a lot less problem than it has in the past now I got on her while she's moving not my best idea for anybody out there but once I'm up here she's shown that she's pretty good so I'm just going to take what I can get and I'm going to ask her to step off. I'm going to ask her to move. If she gets a little excited with that looking both ways thing, I'm going to ask her to tip her nose. Good girl. See, she wants to 
look left, look right. I'm going to tip her nose. I'm going to ask her to move off my inside leg. Good girl. Move off my outside leg. Good girl. Move off my inside leg. Now I don't have any spurs on. So right now, I'm extremely happy with how she's already sitting, settling into this first ride in a month. Good girl. Now you see her right there. She's looking right, looking left. She should be in a left bend. But she gets worried and says, what are you doing? So I'm going to rub her on the right hand side while I tip her nose left. And let's see if we can't just get her over any nervousness now. Now I'm really enjoying this. Her eye is calm. And if you look right there, she's not as nervous now going looking left and then looking right. Let's uh, bump her with my right leg and bend her to the right. Let's bump her with my left leg and get her to come around in a circle. Now with my balsal, I can just work my fingers right there. Balsal, bozel, whatever anybody wants to call it. Now I'm bumping her around. Ask her to move. Good girl. I'm going to ask her to pick it up just a little bit. I'm going to bump her left off my left leg. Get her to try just a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you don't have to be so silly. on her, which I should. She's going, oh my goodness, what are you doing? I want her to get comfortable speeding up, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Now what did I do to slow down? I eased myself down in that saddle. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? That's my baby. I'm going to ask her to back up a little bit. One, two, three. Oh, look at that drop of that nose. Boy, I love that. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Good girl. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is her fifth real ride. And first ride in, I'd say, at least six months. Maybe five. And she's doing excellent. And I'm going to be riding this mare a lot more. So I want to get her out on the trail and get her going. Give her her next stage of life. Hey, let's get a leg yield here. She says, how about a head pull? How about a leg yield? How about a leg yield? How about, get off my leg, honey. Off my leg. I'm moving that shoulder now, and then I'm going to bump her around. Say, so get off my hands. Good. Move out. Good girl. Move her shoulder out. I'm telling her, move her shoulder out. She's saying, no, I want to lean into you. 
going to the right. That's her issue right there. Good girl. Let's get a little trot here. Good girl. Now I ride pretty light in a trot, so I don't really post a lot when I'm sitting a horse that's green. You get caught up in the air and they don't understand that that forward motion the way you do it with a post. Your butt's out of that saddle and they pop on you, which I don't think she's going to do. You kind of tend to go flying. Good girl. Nice little movement of the hip there. Good girl. Let's move the shoulder. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said it, but I kind of like what I do. Good girl. Good girl. Now I'm going to start the process of getting Isabella ground driving and get her some, uh, start getting her posture down, getting her used to long lines and snap a bit. Careful. <laughs> See if I can't get a little bit of canter. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She went, oh my god, I got two, three steps in and he didn't eat me. Good girl. Let's go again. in you girl I got belief in you I know you can do it I won't let you fail I won't let you get worried no ma'am that was beautiful she's going oh my goodness oh my goodness did you see what I did let's just bend you right <laughs> I do love what I do very thankful be able to do what I do. Let me 
thankful to help other people do what they love to do. I'm saying, get off that. Come on, mommy. Girl. I'm not going to give up on you. Good girl. <laughs> Stop. give up on you mama somebody else gave up on her and she was gonna go to a not very nice place I won't give up on her she's gonna be an amazing horse when I get her ridden quite a few more times get her out on the trail you're gonna see such a transformation in this mare she's already so much softer than she was in the first rides. And that's the first time I've cantered her. So that's wonderful. Now I think that's pretty good for today. And I'm gonna say, thank you, Miss Isabella. Love you so much. Yes, ma'am. Come here. You got a long way to go. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. I want everybody to have a great, happy Thanksgiving. Keep doing what you love to do. I'll keep doing what I love to do. Hopefully we'll meet somewhere. And uh, once again, have a great Thanksgiving this year. Hug your family, kiss your horses, be happy. <laughs>